Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to make the cow catcher. Now, the cow catcher is a complex part. It's got a lot of dimensions on it, but if we break it down into simple shapes, uh, it's not that bad. And the shapes we want to make are these like baseball diamonds down here. So there's one on the bottom that's bigger, and then there's one on the top. So let's start with the one on the bottom. The distance from here to here is 1.8. It goes out for one inch and it has quarter inch sides and then it's about 50 degrees and this is actually slightly off so let's go ahead and put in these three numbers and you'll see what I mean so I started a sketch I'm gonna click on a plane and then on this line here or as close as you can get you know draw out your first line and we're gonna just kind of create that diamond or that baseball shape pattern it looks something like this and then let's dimension the bottom to be 1.8 enter I'll zoom out a little bit then each of these sides is a quarter inch so 0.25 actually 0.25 the other sides a quarter inch and then the distance from here to the very top is one inch okay now that looks pretty good but we want to make sure it's centered so let's dimension the top point to the side of the part and make sure it's 0 0.9 if it's 0 0.9 then it matches up so let's do 0 0.9 and that looks pretty good right now to end this actually I think it's fine so yeah let's go ahead and finish that sketch that's the bottom of the train. Now we're gonna do the same for the top. So moving up 0.75 units, we got the top diamond, that is 1.2. It's also a quarter inch on the sides and it extends out this direction for 0.75 units. So let's do that. To create our first plane, I'm gonna start a 2D sketch and the plane where we created our first one on, I'm gonna click and hold it and drag it up to 0.75 or negative 0.75, depending on what your computer is telling you. I'm gonna say okay. And now on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and draw out a, a smaller one. So I'm actually gonna draw it a little bit inside and then we're gonna move it. So it looks something like this 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 and this okay so I drew the smaller one now let's get these dimensions on so for the bottom here that's 1.2 and then the sides are 0.25 and then the top to the bottom is 0.75 you can see we got all these dimensions now but just remember we're focused on this bottom one and then to make sure it's centered from the side to the top point should be half of the total distance so it should be 0 0.60 okay so we made the top part the only issue is that as of right now neither of these two align so we got this one here and it's not quite matching up with the one over there if I try to dimension from one to the other like I can click on the part I made but I can't click on the one underneath it and the reason being that's on a previous sketch so that's on sketch one and I can't click on it because it's a different sketch so we need to make it clickable and the easiest way to do that is to use the project geometry button so click on that project geometry and if you click on a line of the previous sketch like on this line now it turns it yellow and now it's clickable so that's just something to remember uh, so I'm gonna click on that line and the side here okay I need that to be yellow as well and I'll break that down in a second okay so first of all we want these two lines to be like next to each other this line and that line so I'm going to dimension from here to here and instead of having it being a distance of 0.1 or whatever yours is if yours is up there you know just say it's zero okay if it's zero then it's on the line because there's no difference between the two lines okay so that's the first one now in terms of the side this here the total distance was 1.2 but the big one had 
and we want this to be perfectly centered. So if that's the case, then we want the distance from here to the very top point to be 0.9. Okay, so I'm going to say very 0.9, enter, and now this top point has to be centered in order for it to kind of match up with that 1.8. So hopefully that makes sense. This is all aligned now, so we're going to finish the sketch. And we got our two, two profiles over here, so we're going to loft these together. I'm going to go to the loft button, click on that, and then first I'm going to click on the bottom profile. So I selected that. And then after that, I'm going to click on the top profile. And if you do that correctly and press OK, it should generate the, the bulk of the cow catcher. So that's done. I'm going to turn off the plane on the top. Just right click on this work plane one or whatever yours is called and turn off the visibility. OK, next let's go ahead and add in the the cut on the bottom. <laughs> so if you look on the bottom, the bottom of this is hollow. So we need to hollow this out, but the thickness of the shell is, I believe, 0.1. Okay, so that's 0.1 over here. That's the thickness of the shell, and we need to make it uniform throughout the entire bottom. So I'm going to look at the bottom real quick. Now I could create a series of extrusions that are all 0.1 smaller in every side and move up to the very top, but let's use a different tool. And we used this once before with our Lego piece, but this is called Shell. And I want you to click on Shell. I want you to specify the thickness as 0.1, and then I want you to, I guess, click on it and click on the face that you want to shell. And if you do that, what Shell does is it leaves the thickness of 0.1 on every side and it just cuts all the way through the part. So this looks good now. I'll press OK and now it's been successfully shelled out. Okay, now that we have that, let's work on the front. So the front has these two doorways on them. They're not hollow. They're only cut 0.05 inches deep so that there's still 0.05 uh, inches thick of material left. So we need to get those added. So if I try to start a 2D sketch on, oh actually both of them work pretty nice. Uh, if you if you did it correctly, then you should be able to sketch on this, hopefully. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch. Now I don't want to draw those lines and uh, what's what's the, the thickness? It's 0.1 thick for each of these parts over here. So I don't want to kind of mess around with that. So I guess we could try to shell it. Um, let's give that a shot first. Um, this is just for kicks. I don't think it's going to work, but oh. Um, yeah, let's just see. Could I shell this right away? If I did 0 0.05. Ignore this part, guys. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Oh, man, does it really work? Is that work? So if I did 0 0.05, I just don't think the thickness there is enough. So never mind. Delete that method. Uh, just start a 2D sketch on this surface. And then what we need to do is project the geometry of this shape here. So if I click once, you're going to see it draws a bunch of yellow lines. Then I'm going to use the offset tool up here. Click on that and then click on this yellow line series and move your mouse down. You don't need to be holding this click. Move it down to 0.1 and press enter. What that does is it, it offsets all four sides by 0.1 inch. So I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to extrude cut this middle part. So you can see I'm going to go to a cut and I'm just going to make this 0 0.05 inches. So it cuts into the cow catcher, but doesn't go that far. I'll press OK, and we will rotate to the other side. And now I'm going to start a sketch on this side. I'm going to do the same thing, project geometry of that side, offset these yellow lines, bring them in, 0.1 inch, enter. And then I'm going to finish that sketch and extrude, cut out the center. Okay, make sure your arrows are going the right way, and if they are, this should work pretty smoothly. Okay, so we've cut out those two windows. The very last thing we need to do is add in these three circles at the end here, and it looks like there's some kind of a small chamfer, which some of you have might already worked with the chamfer before. Uh, each of these circles are 0.5 away from each other, 
1.25 from the two bottom ones, 0.625 from this one to this one. And what else do we know? We know the diameter. That's what I'm really looking for here. Uh, the diameter is this, 0.125 diameter. Typical, which means that that means it's for all three of them. So I'm going to spin over to the bottom here. I'm going to start a sketch and I'm going to draw in those three circles. I know one's centered somewhere, so I'm just going to find that center line and draw this first one. So 0.125 and then I'm just going to draw out two more. Okay. It doesn't quite matter where I draw them. Just notice all these lines that are popping up. Be aware that those might restrict me later on. So if I might, if I need to delete a circle, I might need to do that. Okay, from the very top of the part to the center of that top circle is 0.125. So let's dimension from the very top to the center circle is 0.125. And then we said the distance from this circle to this circle is 0.625. And the distance from this circle, I'm, and I'm being very careful to click on the centers, is 1.25. Okay, and uh, I think we just need the height now. The height from the top to each of these is 0.5. So from the this circle this circle, this 0.5. And if you think about it, these are going to go in the front of our train. So all these numbers, if we looked at the front of our train body, would match up 0.5. Okay, notice everything's purple. Everything looks pretty locked. So I think we're good to go. I'm going to finish the sketch. And we're going to extrude out this circle a total of 1.25 units. So let's do that. Extrude. I'm just going to click on all three of these. One, two, three. And do 0.125 units. And then press OK. And then the last thing is to add in the chamfer. The chamfer is a 0.01 at 45 degrees typical. So all three of them have the same chamfer. I'm going to go to chamfer. Click on the second option. And we'll do this one at a time just because of the, the style of it. But make sure your number, your distance here says 0 0.01 and not 0 0.1. And then you're going to click on the face of one and then the angle. And then press apply and then repeat. Face, angle, apply, face, angle, apply. And if you do that, you've added that 0 0.01 chamfer on it and you've created your cow catcher. Okay, that concludes this video. Hopefully you found it useful. I'll see you later. Peace.